back, Space Cadets, to another night of VBS 2020 Space Supernatural Encounters with God. Thank you for joining us for this first ever virtual VBS from Space. We want to remind you that we're working all week on an offering project for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And our overall goal is $600. And we also have, we keep track of how much the boys bring in and how much the girls bring in. And at the end of this week, we will have totals to find out who gets to have bragging rights for the year, the girls or the boys. Oh, hang on, yeah. Mission Control is all set. They've linked in with the space station, so I think we're ready to go. All right, well, let's count down to, uh, to tonight's transmission from space with Dr. Prove It, Houston Ann, and Rocket Dan. Here we go in five, five four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to VBS 2020, Space, the Supernatural Encounter with God. Space. I'm Houston Ann, and this is Rocket Dan. Rocket Dan. Again with a singing. Yeah, because I'm good. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, we've had Rocket Dan. This is exactly Rocket Dan. Dan. Anyway, here we are in space, and apparently a little too uh, not enough oxygen for Whew. Rocket Dan's head. Well, but it was tough out there yesterday. It did a lot yeah. of work. It was, it was tough, but clearly, man. clearly something's going wrong. Yeah. But we wanted to do a little bit of a recap on the last two nights. I don't know how many of you've been with us for the for Sunday night and Monday night, but here we are on Tuesday. If you were here Sunday night, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Awesome. How many of you here were here last night? Raise your hand. Great. So yeah. thankful that you came back tonight. Awesome. And How so, many of you this is your first time? No. Yeah. Oh, that can't be us. No, it's not us. We've no, been here. we've been here every night. Yeah, every night. Yeah. So anyway, we wanted to recap a little bit from the last two nights. Awesome. Um, on Sunday, if you remember, Dan, can you tell them what our log it was? I yes. got it here on our notes. <laughs> our log it was, God can supernaturally create anything out of nothing, including us. Yeah. And we talked about God's creation and how God created the whole world, the whole universe, that candy bar, uh, the Milky, Milky Way. Way. Yeah, that he created all of that. It was nothing, and then it became something. How cool yeah, was that? That was totally awesome. And then, um, then in uh, a Monday night, we had the log it. La, 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 la. Log it. Was that God can speak log to us. It. I'm trying, Log it. I'm trying to tell something important. They know it too. Okay, can I can I go ahead now? Thank you. Log it. Okay, thank you very much. So our log it for that night, don't say it, is God can speak to us anytime or anywhere, even in supernatural ways. And we talked about the story of Moses and the burning bush that didn't burn up. You remember yeah. that? Mo and that bush that was on fire, but yes. didn't. So, so Bro. far what we've learned is that God speaks to us in any way that he wants to, supernaturally he can, and that he created us with a purpose, that, that he has something for us to do, and he made us out of nothing at all. He's so awesome. Right? Well, you know what, one of the things that we forgot, and I don't have it here in my notes, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, uh -huh. is that we talked about something cool from space yeah. every night. And so tonight what I want to show you is a nebula called the horse. A nebu what? A nebula. 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 Is that the name of your cat? No, it's this, it's gonna be something I'm gonna show on the screen in a minute. Oh. Yeah, it's a space, it's like gases and stuff out in space. I know, don't go there. Gas? So here we go, we're gonna talk, yes. Do you, can you help yourself, you junior higher? Well, I'm just saying, when you talk about gas, I think about something not in space. Yes, I know. But in the air. I know, but I don't know how to talk Usually about Usually with a smell. But I don't know how to talk about a nebula without using that term, okay. even though I knew it was a bad idea. Okay, but you're talking about a different type of gas. I am, I'm talking not about- Not the one with the smell. Right, yeah. so can we continue? Probably shouldn't log that. No, we're not going to. Okay, so uh, a, ne a horse head nebula is- A horse right head? Yep, right here behind us. Oh. Yeah, see, now, this is a really, really cool nebula, but here's the thing. I don't think it looks like a horse head, do no, you? No, it doesn't look like a horse head. It kinda, it's got like a trunk. Yeah, it kind of looks to me like an elephant nebula. An elephant nebula. Yeah. yeah. Now, if, if we can get our... That has our, gas. Sure. Yeah. Sure. If we can get um, uh, one more picture put up, I want to show you this is the witch head nebula. And I think if you look, you can really see... My mom says we're not supposed to talk about witches. 
No, we're not. We're talking about a nebula. Okay. But if you look at oh, it, see how it yes. looks, just kind of looks like oh, a witch head, you know, from Halloween. Yes. Yeah. My mom doesn't like that either. No, we're not going to talk about that yeah. anymore. But we just wanted to show you that that's one of the, some of the cool things up in space. There's all these nebulas all over. Nebula. In fact, one more. Can we show them one more? Okay, one more. There's a butterfly nebula. Let's put that up. Yeah, yep. See how it's, it looks almost like a big long, like a tube? Do you think in its gas state it was a caterpillar? You know, it's hard to say really. Yeah. But thank you for bringing that up. So anyway, you know what? Let's get back to the topic at hand. God has a purpose for us. He's created us. And, and as I'm thinking about that, we don't really have time to talk anymore because you have a job to do and you've got to get out in space. Okay, so I'm going to get the suit on. We're going to get out. out there. Yep. So, would this that, way. that way? Okay. Okay. Yeah. During BBS this year, we're collecting money to help provide supplies for our annual Operation Christmas Child shoebox packing party in November. Let's watch this video about the ministry of OCC, then we'll be back with more details. The kids are playing, are laughing, joyful. It's like a whole world to them because for the first time they have received this precious gift. Operation Christmas Child gives our church an opportunity to touch the world. It's a great adventure to evangelize. You've got an army of volunteers that pack the boxes that are helping OCC to take the gospel literally to millions of children. This is the Good Samaritan work that the Lord is looking for people to do. Getting people locally to think globally. What I love about OCC is that they are intentional about pouring into the lives of kids. They receive a box and also an invitation to come back and learn more about Christ. We just don't want to just hand out a box and stop there. We want them to grow in their faith. It's a great tool, an effective tool to reach communities with the gospel of Jesus. It's exciting to get people to heaven, but it's also exciting to get heaven to people. We can't wait for you to help pack shoe boxes with us in November, but first we need to talk about our offering contest details. Our VBS goal is to raise at least $600. Even though we're not meeting in person, we're still having our annual Boys vs. Girls offering competition. Starting Monday night, the group who brought in the most money the previous night will be announced during our video streaming from CW Space Station. Keep an eye out on Friday, July 24th for a special transmission from space, announcing the overall winners for the week. The winning team, you earn bragging rights for the year. There will also be a far out space event broadcast if we hit or exceed our offering goal. Here's how you can give. There will be a place in the front office July 20th through the 23rd between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to drop off your donations for either the boys or the girls. You can also give online at cwmc.church give and select a VBS for your offering type. Online donations will be split equally between the boys and the girls unless you email Tim at cwmc.church and let Tim know where you would like the funds to go to, either the boys' team or the girls' team.
Dan, can you hear me? Who's that? Dan, who do you mean who's that? Who else talks to you out in space? It's me, Houston Ann. Houston Ann? Yes, it's me, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there was something in my ear. Sorry, got it out. Okay, here. are we good? I hear you, you now, yeah, I hear you okay. now. Okay, I, so I'm here, and you want me to go over there? Yeah, I want you to go over there where the other people are. But why, why do you need me to go over there? Because I need you to fix something over there. They need your help. You can do it. I, I don't know if I, I really don't want to go over hey, there. Houston, I mean, I, Ann. Oh, hey. wow. Hi. Who, who is that? Oh, yeah, it's Rocket Dan out in space. Hey, yes, Rocket Dan. Dan. Oh, that's that chipmunk. Well, Dr. Have... Prove-It's here. Hello, Dr. Prove-It. Dr. Prove-It, I'm just trying to get uh, Rocket Dan to go over to the other part of the space station so he can help those guys fix that. Uh, panel that got broken, but uh, he says he can't do it. Yeah, and there's no way that can happen. I just, I don't, I really. But I can I'm get telling lost. him it totally can happen. Are he you, can do it. Are you sure? I'm I mean, positive. He I can do it. I don't think he's gonna make it over there. I mean, you've seen Rocket Dan. He has no. He can do it. Dude, we're not gonna listen to Doctor Prove It on this uh, one. Are you sure? Rocket she Dan. sounds really smart today. No, you're gonna use the jetpack and you're gonna move over there. The jetpack. The jetpack that's on your back. You remember, you put it on. You didn't have it yesterday, but you have it today. I have it. It's on your back. Yes. What are you doing? I'm trying to see the jetpack. You're never gonna see the jetpack. It's on your back. What do you? What do you mean? There's a jetpack. Remember, you've got handles. You're gonna push it. It's gonna shoot you across. That's what I'm saying. It, uh, really? Yes. How do I? How do I make it go? You, you push the buttons. This one? Yes. Push it. Uh. You're gonna go. Okay. Uh, okay. What's I, now? What's the problem? Well, I think I went the wrong way. Uh, you didn't go the wrong so way. So you want me to go over there? Yes, I want you to trust okay. me, and I want you to shoot yourself okay. over well, there. Let me turn. I think it's this way, right? Yes. Shoot okay. over there. Okay. Go Ready? now. You push the button. I push the button. Okay. okay I'm going. I'm Excellent. Going. See, I told you you could do it. I'm going over there. Okay. I'm getting closer. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Yeah, I thought you'd appreciate using the jetpack. Yeah, we're like moving around. Like, you have all the tools you need to do the I'm job out okay. there. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. Like push the button, you don't have to swim. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, it kind of just takes me there. Yeah, oh. see? Hey. Okay, did you do? Did you finish the task over there? I finished the one, I'm, I'm back here. Yeah, we're good, yeah. Whew, okay, well that's all we needed you to do today. You're going to be able to come back in. Oh, really? That's yep. it? Well, what if I want to kind of float out here a little bit more? I got well, this no. jet pack of gas, it just kind of moves me yeah, here Yeah, I and think there. we need to get you back in. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, come in then, okay? Okay. Guys, that that was so crazy out there. Um, yeah. I, I got to be honest, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think that it was going to happen. And I mean, it reminds me a little bit of a story that I read in the Bible um, about Jesus and one of his disciples about not thinking you can do something. So can I share that with you guys? Yeah, because I think Dr. Proven needs to hear too because she was in here telling me that you're never gonna yeah, do that. I did not think you were gonna make it. I know, and that happens, but I think I think if we can find out that with Jesus, let me tell the story. Have you guys ever heard the story of the feeding of the 5,000? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good because we're not gonna talk about that story. Um, and so we're actually gonna talk about what happened directly after that story. And, and so what happened, what? What? Uh, can you? Why can't you just start at the original part? Because it's all. Why about, are you telling all about five thousand? Houston, Ann, it's all about context. I'm sorry if you gotten confused. I've okay. gotten confused. He's confused. So right after Jesus had fed all these people, five thousand people, he immediately the, the the word of God says he immediately sent his disciples to get on a boat and he wanted to go take some time and pray. And so he got away and he wanted to pray. But while he was doing that and the disciples were on the boat, there was a great wind that came across and it kind of blew the boat out into the sea where they were at and the disciples had been there kind of overnight and right before right before dawn happened right before the sun came up they it, were overnight it, where on the on the boat oh in the storm it, well, oh. yeah it's it a lots of wind all this stuff trip. waves waves were going okay. yeah but okay. do you know what waves look like when they're kind of like I've seen pictures. Yeah. why don't you yeah. demonstrate that oh, for okay. us real quick uh, like this? Oh, yes. That's the wave. That doesn't look very yeah. scary though. Yeah, no, no. Can it be a scary? Oh, there we go. That much yeah. bigger wave. And the yeah. boat was going up and down. Do you know what a boat going up? Yes, yeah, so up and down, up and down, yeah. So so that's what was happening. And right before the sun came up, Houston, very good. it's yeah. our sun. Yeah, yeah. Right before the sun came up, the disciples look out in the water and they see someone coming 
Right, yeah, right back there, they see someone coming towards them. And they, and they begin to yell out, they yell out, it's a ghost. Someone's coming out there. It kind of, well, kind of. I can see why they would think. Yeah, because it, 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 it's coming at them. It would be like water. if someone was coming at us in space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd be afraid. And so as they're out there and they figure out what happens is, is they look at that and they're like, no, that's not a ghost. We, we think, oh, no, it can't be. It can't be. But it was Jesus, supernaturally walking on the water towards them. Wow. And he yelled out to them. He said. Do not be afraid. It's me, Jesus. I still be a little bit afraid. That's crazy. I know because you just don't think it can happen. No, it seems impossible. So this is where this is where the disciple Peter comes in. Peter, okay. So Peter hears this. And when Peter hears this, he actually says, "Jesus, if it's you, I want to read. It. Jesus, if it's you, tell me to come out." And in Matthew 14, verse 29, this is what Jesus says: "Yes, come," Jesus said. So Peter, get this, Peter went over the side of the boat and he walked on the water towards Jesus. Peter. Now that sounds impossible. I know. It, I didn't wow. think it could happen. When I read this yeah. the first time, I was like, no way. But it says it right there in God's it word. It really happened. That he got out of the boat and he began to walk towards Jesus. How cool is that? That's super cool. And it does show you that nothing is really impossible if God's empowering you. I right? know, but here's what happened. Okay. Here's what happened. There's, there's, more? there's a little bit more to the story. Okay. So what happens as Peter was walking out towards Jesus, he began to kind of realize where he was. Right. And he began to look around and he's like, oh no, I'm actually walking on water. I'm in this way. Do you guys remember when, when your mom and dad were teaching you how to ride a bike? And do you remember when they were teaching you how to ride a bike? They were like holding on the back of your seats, right? Right, running. And then they're running behind and you're pedaling along, right? And yep. you're going. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you're going and you're doing it. They let go and you're doing it, but you didn't know they let go. Yeah. And yep. then you look back and you realize that you're doing it. Yeah. What typically happens right well, after that? I, I fell over. Yeah. Boom, Boom. you fall over, yeah. right? It's, it's horrible. And you're like, what happened? It's kind of what happened here. Right. Peter was on the water, he's doing great. He's walking on there because Jesus empowered him. He called him out, empowered him to do this thing. Right. And he realizes, man, I just, I can't do this. And he began to sink. And immediately when he began to sink, Jesus reaches out his hand mm -hmm. and he picks him up and they began to walk back and they got back in the boat together. Wow, that's a great story. Yeah, yeah. and here's what I learned. Here's what I learned. And here's what I want you guys to learn at home too, is that when God calls us to do something, he will empower you to do it, even sometimes supernaturally. Wow. Right? That's Cause, awesome. Because that verse said that, he said, Jesus said, yes, come. And then Peter did it. Right. Jesus called and Peter was able to go. How cool wow. is that? I That's feel like super I should cool. write that down. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like that was me today. You think so? When you didn't know if you had the ability to do yeah. the job that we were being asked to do? And I felt like Dr. Prove it, you little bit didn't believe that I could do it. Yeah, I didn't think you could. But it was, you didn't do it all on your own. No. You did it with the help of the jetpack that you forgot you had. How did I forget that thing? I don't know, but you know what? I think sometimes we forget. I know I do. I forget that the Holy Spirit wants to help me and that I he can empower me to do stuff I don't think I can do all by myself. Yeah. And so that was a great story today and it really tied into what, what happened out in space today. Yeah. So hey, I had a great time with you guys. Did you guys have a good time tonight with everything that we were doing? And uh, and I think maybe that we can go and get ready. I know we got a big day tomorrow too, but it was a, it was a good yeah, night to, to have this story. So. That's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, with no us. problem. Oh. So we'll see you guys later. We can head All on right. out. Okay.
Hey guys, what a great day we had today. Uh, I want to remind you of two things. One is the l -l 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 log it, right? So log it is when God calls you to do something, he will empower you to do it, even sometimes supernaturally. How awesome is that? And the verse that we had that went along with that is in Matthew 14, 29, and it says this, yes, come, Jesus said. And so when Peter went over the side of the boat and he began to walk on the water towards Jesus, when God calls, we can do some awesome things. Have a good night. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we are so glad that you again chose to watch Houston and Rocket Dan and Dr. Prove It as they journeyed through space. We hope to see you again tomorrow night, but before we close off, I think Lunar Lisa, don't you have a couple of things to talk about? I certainly do. I just want you to know, remember to stay tuned tomorrow morning at 10 a.m for the launching of Lunar Lisa and Storytime for our youngest space cadets. Oh, and we will also have a special report that will air tomorrow to update us on our offering project and to see whether the boys space cadets or the girls space cadets brought in the most for our missions project. Alrighty, well, I am Captain Katie. This is Lunar Lisa and Dr. Diller signing off from the CW Space Center. We'll see you tomorrow night.